What's up, YouTube? It's your girl, Dee Dee. Welcome or welcome back to the channel. Thank you so much for tuning in once again. I am back with another reaction video. Now, this comes from a podcast that Brittany Renner and uh, Just Pearly Things are on together. Now, this is my first time seeing a clip of their new podcast. And I thought it was interesting. And in this clip, child, there's a heated debate that goes on where Brittany kind of goes off on Pearly and then Pearly walks off the show. So I thought this was interesting. I wanted to give my two cents on it. I wanted to share it with you guys and get your thoughts on it as well. So before we get into the video, if you are new to the channel and you like what you see, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. It is free to subscribe. Donations, 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 donations. Also like and share the video and hit that notification bell to be notified when I upload new content or go live. Yeah, we're gonna jump right into this, you guys. I thought this was very interesting um, just to hear what's going on and share with you guys. So I'm gonna stop talking. I know I'll be talking too much. Without any other further ado, let's go ahead and get into the video. Here we go. So now we're moving right along to a segment called Panel Pull Out. Pull out. I see what we did there. So each host <laughs> will pull something from the internet or socials that they would like to address with that specific host. Sounds a little messy. We're gonna start with Pearl. Sounds so messy. <laughs> We're gonna start with Pearl. I'm first? Yes. I, I mean, at first, yeah. Okay, so um, I saw something that you retweeted, Brittany. And it was Girl, something about, and it, and it was, it was something about female intuition. Okay. And I just don't think female intuition exists. I think female intuition is terrible. I, I think, think it's terrible in what way? Now, before we proceed, what do you guys think about female intuition? I spoke about this on a previous video, if I'm not mistaken. I don't know if it was, if it was a live or a video, but I spoke about this, about how a lot of women claim to have this female intuition, but it's it's se selective in its use. You know what I'm saying? Somehow when it comes to men and relationships, a lot of women claim to have this intuition, but it's not necessarily useful when it comes to knowing if your man is cheating on you or if you know, you're know you picking the right guy. It just, it, it's not, as useful in terms of relationships when it comes to men. That's just my take on it. I just was talking about this, but this is interesting that they bring that up. Well, baby, y'all let me know what y'all think. Let's continue. I don't think it's really a thing. Well, intuition, um, just simply put, is heightened awareness. And so it stems from when women were at home with children and had to be tuned into what was going on. So intuition doesn't just stop at children, it's across the board. So if you aren't tuned into your intuition, that's a you thing. No, 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 no. I just look at the choices we make, you know. Where are you? We as women, I, I mean, look at, look at, look at, look at, look at, look at, look at. What kind of choices at, do you make? Okay, what kind of choice? Now, before we get into that, and I will say this for the record, I'm not a fan of any, I don't know the other two ladies, but I'm not a big, big, huge fan of Just Pearly Things or uh, Brittany Renner. I don't know them personally, so it's not a personal thing, you know? So I respect what they do, because that's their choice, but I don't uh, really agree with their take on certain things or whatever. So I'm not, I don't really follow them like that. You know what I'm saying? Uh, let's continue. Choices do you make, Brittany? Um, <laughs> no, you but you're the one you who's, we're, we're talking, you're well, saying no, that no, females no, no. don't I'm make talking, good I'm, choices, well, so Well, look at we own the majority. Go. I have no debt, right? But women in general. That's because you're from a women, rich family, women girl. In Congratulations, general, girl. Women, women, you're from a rich women family, so what are you talking about? You have no debt, girl. Women in general have a Congratulations. Time. Women like, you don't get a, a fish don't get applauded for swimming. I know, I'm lucky. That's why I said I'm lucky. Okay, so for you, so why lead with that? So why lead with that? So why lead with that? You asked for an example and I'm going to give it to you. Do you want, do you want me to start? Girl, okay. okay, let me tell you what we're Let's talk about, let's talk about. What we're not gonna do, because you have a history of doing this, because mm -hmm. I'm familiar with you, okay? okay? Girl, what you like to do is you like to say these really stupid fucking comments, right? Mm -hmm. And then so what you do, then you like sit back and then you're like, you think you're so smart, you have this fucking smug ass look on your face. Mm -hmm. And then you're waiting for someone to give you that like emotional, like passionate response. So then you can sit there and be super dismissive and really kind of just gaslight. And I don't know as a female. Gaslight? Like, no. Yeah, do you know what that word means? 
You guys use it forever. You guys. Go ahead. Okay, you know what's funny about using you guys okay. is seriously, it kind of feels like the only thing that is actually feminine about you is that you have a vagina. Okay. Because I feel like, you, I mean, there's like a man on the panel. Okay, and what's feminine about you, Brittany? Everything is feminine about me. Stop lying. Okay, so how is this taking a turn? I think this is what people were talking about. What type of turn is this taking? What is happening? They talking about female intuition. Pearly basically saying, hey, a lot of women make poor choices. When does the intuition come in? And that would be a question I would have as well because we know that a lot of women make poor choices in general. How is it turning into something else? She was speaking general, Pearly was speaking in general that women do make poor decisions. That's a fact. I don't see how that could be argued. But baby, let's continue. Let's continue, y'all. Like, let's, I'm not trying to go personal here. So I don't know why you're trying to make this personal. No, you made not, it personal when you, no, when, I said, when you led with, I, hey, I don't have any debt. I don't know. As if that's a flex because, because your parents you, have money. You, you asked me. What have you actually heard for yourself? Brittany, 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 you asked me. I, I'm saying in general, women own the majority of debt. We don't make great choices. Girl. We look at who we pick. Let's look at romantic decisions. Women don't make very good romantic decisions I in think general. there's a point that needs to be made though, and that's the fact that what I heard Brittany say earlier was she's talking about people who have a heightened, there's a deep heightened intuition, and I think where the conversation is splitting is the fact that you're talking, you're actually talking about people who don't have that who have it turned off, who are disconnected like her. from their intuition, who don't make poor decisions. We, we make poor decisions. Like when we actually go down to the root, the root of why it is that we make these poor decisions, there's layers and layers and layers and layers to it. And more of it is going to come from just like the science and backing that you kind of put into collective bundles that ultimately just come from who? The white man you were raised by. Huh? What in the world is she talking about? What is she talking about? How does this turn into a racial thing and something to do with her father and how she was raised. I don't understand what this chick is saying. It doesn't make any sense to me. I mean, I don't understand. It's almost as if they had an ax to grind. Like I do believe that Britney was triggered by the fact that Hurley said she doesn't have any debt. That was a trigger for her. And, and, and to me, it just leads to women not being accountable. And you could kind of spin this however you want to, but it just sounds like they were triggered or Britney definitely was triggered by her saying she doesn't have any debt and that women have the most debt, which is, which is true. I don't see what the what the problem is when it comes to that because that's the truth. And are the biggest consumers. There shouldn't be an argument there. I don't see how we get to what she's saying, a deeper and layers and layers of issues. And the bottom line, and which I call cap on, because a lot of women are, are, are trauma, you know, got a lot of trauma, which they try to deny. A lot of women are trauma filled and they don't accept the fact that that trauma actually plays a part in how they think and, and when it comes to dating and relationships. They act as if they're perfect and they don't have any issues. So the layers and layers and layers of trauma that you have is, is part of the reason why women overspend. Is that why? Because that's the way you deal with your trauma? Is that what she's trying to say? Because what she's saying and then she, you know, pointed it back to Pearlie's father and the fact that she's raised, you know, in a wealthy household. What does that, ha what does that have to do with women being the biggest consumers and women are the, are the most in debt. What does that have to do with that? I'm lost in the sauce. Y'all let me know what y'all think and what she's saying. Do y'all get it? Cause baby, I don't, but let's continue. So what I'm the reason that she doesn't have any debt. I'm just, but I'm just saying, but well, so you, you asked, you asked that's for, not, that's you not asked, there. you asked that's for, so that's example. not you it's making not a decision. Okay. That's you being okay. born okay. into white okay. privilege. Okay. And we need you to acknowledge okay. that. So that's what not a decision you? that you made. That this is, is the way so... you came into this. And honestly, right. it was wait, girl, you're a family of like nine or 10. Like all that, that's what, how your dad set you up. So there are things that you genuinely did not have to experience. You don't. Oh, no, you okay, get to sit okay, there but, again. But as but as but as but so you don't. So you don't even. You don't even have to make decisions. You're the same person. You are the same person. At the last Brittany, time I saw Brittany, you, you accidentally. Brittany. No, shut the up. What, what shut the up when I'm talking. And you get to go. You're the same person who accidentally spent. I understand people having disagreements. I understand people not agreeing on everything, but that's totally disrespectful to tell somebody to shut the F up. You see, that's fighting words in my in my mind. It's like, that's a trigger right there for certain people. You know, I'm just saying, what if Pearly got up and ran into her? You know what I'm saying? It's like, people need to learn how to communicate. 
with others and work with others. You don't have to agree. You can have a difference of an opinion, but it doesn't have to be a, a insulting thing. Now she's insulting the woman you, and you're disrespecting her. This is what triggers do to people. You're triggered and you just go off because you don't want to accept the truth. So you will try to find anything you can to try to insult that person because you can't stand that that's a reflection of you so you don't want to accept it so you just get mad that's that's what i see going on here but let's continue baby fifty thousand dollars and your dad was able to pay it I off on your credit card I yes didn't. you did when you when you over I, I didn't actually accidentally you're the one who said an accident I, I i spent over 50. my limit that's can what I you said can can I? that's what you said so again an unreal that's what, what you said you? can i that's what you said about? can i the last time that i saw you yes so again so again we're going back to you you're a good about. girl. What the, the that comes? That, that's what, what I'm saying. What that comes you, out of your mouth. You, what do, are you, you literally just say whatever. What is you so mad I, over? Because yo, because okay, okay, honestly, Brittany, you're Brittany, delusional. Brittany, Brittany, Brittany. No, it's not, no, I don't break me. Go ahead. Go ahead. I mean, Brittany, look, I do look, look at look at look at. Look at. I think that we have to say. If you're gonna yell at me, I'm not. I'm not gonna do the show. Like you, you don't have to. You don't have to scream at me. That's that's so disrespectful. You know, I'm I'm not. I'm not here to get like that's like you don't have to be rude. I don't, I don't. Baby, that's just a part of the podcast. I'll put the full link to the video in the description if you guys wanna check it out. I think there's two parts to it, but this was crazy. I didn't think them two would probably get along in the first place. We have Brittany Renner, we all know what she's about. And then you have Pearly coming from her perspective. I could see them butting heads. I could see that being an issue. So I'm not really shocked by it. I just think this show here was just out of pocket in my opinion. I don't know how y'all gonna continue to show if this is how it's gonna go. If people can't have their opinions without getting insulted and it going personal, that's, go that's gonna be hard to maintain a, a show like that. Let me know what y'all think in the comments. Comment, like, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Y'all know what it is. Hit that notification bell. I wanna get your thoughts. So let me know what you think in the comments and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.